Please stand. The entrance antiphon. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we come together on this feast day of St. Damien of Molokai, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, your word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Father of mercy, who gave us in St. Damien, a shining witness of love to, for the poorest and most abandoned. Grant that by his intercession, as faithful witnesses of the heart of your Son, Jesus, we too may be servants of the most needy and rejected. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia in a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate along the river where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with a woman who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Tyratira, a worshiper of God, listened. And the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. The word of the Lord. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. Let the Lord take delight.
Alleluia. 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 The Spirit of Truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you will also testify. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also will testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this, so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when the, their hour comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Damien of Molokai, and St. Damien, who had joined, the, uh, had joined the Sacred Heart Congregation in his native Belgium, was not initially supposed to go to Hawaii to minister. It was actually his brother who had joined as well, and he was targeted to be the one to go. But right before he was about to leave to start ministry in Hawaii, just in general, this isn't even getting to Molokai itself, he fell ill. And basically, St. Damien made an offer. I'll go in his place so that way we have enough people to do it. And the superior of his order accepted that gift. And off Damien went into, you know, modern-day Hawaii and started to serve those who were on the island. Now, it got to the point where, as he continued to serve, a certain mission came up, and that was to the island of Molokai which is literally, again, not a pleasant thing, literally translated, because it's something related to the devil himself. It's like where you put everybody who was, again, a leper, and it was like kind of a punishment zone, if you will. And they needed somebody to go administer. And really, nobody wanted that job. But finally, St. Damien said, I'll go, and I'll go and minister to people. So he goes there, and he realizes very quickly that those on this island who have again contracted leprosy are being treated, shall we say, very poorly. And that's the charitable version. And ultimately what happened is he goes back to the government and kind of continues to look at him and say, you guys got to fix this. Like, you guys got to help out a little more because they don't even have basic supplies. But so fearful of they, because at this point leprosy was not really understood, that... As Damien came back from the island, they said, you can't keep traveling back and forth here, so you've got to choose. You either stay out here with us and continue to do what you need to do to, you know, from afar, or you go there and you stay there. So St. Damien stayed. And for the next 18 years, he ministered to those who were the poorest of the poor, himself contracting leprosy, but he is known today still among the Hawaiian people as one of their real giants in terms of that, they, that name has great reverence with on, the, on the island, all because of his service in the, again, in that gift of God working through him. To this point, again, that uh, idea of what Molokai was, and known as like almost the devil's playground, if you will, it has now been transformed by St. Damien to understand that they hear Molokai and they think of this Christian love, this outpouring of. What a great gift to understand of what God can do with a single person's yes. But that's what we celebrate today, is that St. Damien went where no one else wanted to go, and he brought with him the love of Christ and every last bit of his person to serve those who were most in need. And for that, again, God blessed those efforts and was able to raise up and build many things, all because of a simple yes of a saint. 
For us, my dear friends, as we join together today, it's all a reminder that we, while we might not be called to go to an island of lepers or might not be called to be full-fledged missionaries in this world, there's always something God is calling us towards, and that is to make sure that we're bringing that authentic gift of Christian love to those most in need of encountering it. So we ask for that gift as we go throughout our day and to be able to serve those who come into our purview as we pray together. St. Damon of Molokai, pray for us. With trust in our Lord and Savior, let us pray to our Lord and lift up our prayers before him this day. For those who speak boldly in the spirit of truth, we pray to the Lord. For those who mislead others and do violence in God's name, we pray to the Lord. For those who testify on behalf of justice and fairness for any oppressed, we pray to the Lord. For those shunned and shamed by family members or faith, we, we pray to the Lord. For those abandoned to depression, addiction, illness, and grief, we pray to the Lord. That we may always serve those most in need, especially through the intercession of St. Damien of Molokai, we pray to the Lord. Those whose hour has passed in death, we pray to the Lord. As we lift up Andrew Jem in the prayer of this liturgy, let us also offer up our own prayers to the Lord in the silence of our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, invigorate our hearts with your merciful grace. Strengthen us, Lord, to be your servants, especially as we follow the example of St. Damien and Molokai, serving those who are in most need of those graces. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, the Holy Spirit, and contrite heart of man, be deceptive by your word and your sacraments. Save us the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, 
every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen.
Let's offer to one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon, Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. We now pray the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now pray the prayer of St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a great day, everyone.